Hi, I'm Kelly from Metro Payment Technologies. We've partnered with NMI to bring you our customized Metro Payment Gate Buy. Today's video will be covering the topic shown below. We hope you find this video helpful, and please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a quick integration into CollectJS using our Direct Post API so you can get an idea for how quickly you can convert your existing integration or build a new integration using this tool. Now, why would you use CollectJS over just the direct post on its own? Well, I've got this example site right here, and if I look at the code for it, you can see this is just a standard web form, and I'm collecting the card information here in just standard inputs, and when I submit them to the gateway via direct post, I'm collecting them and I'm sending them as plain text values to the gateway. Now, this is easy, but it's also opening me up to touching these cards. Uh, if I don't necessarily want to do that, I want to use something like CollectJS, which will create a payment token for me that stands in for those values. And so I'll show you how I can take this website and turn it into a CollectJS checkout page with no impact to the user flow and no visual changes at all. So it'll work just how it does today. You just won't have to handle the card information. So if I do a demo here, I'll do some fake information and I can submit the payment. And this is going to a receipt page that just says, hey, thank you for your purchase. Here's your transaction ID. And so if I go into my gateway and I refresh the index page, I can see, hey, there's that transaction and it works. But what I want to do is use CollectJS. So the first thing I need to do is go to my settings and then create a security key. So the security key is what I'm going to use to authenticate with CollectJS. So I'm going to go down here to public security keys. I'm going to create a new one. And then I'm just going to call it CollectJS. I'm going to assign it to my user account. And then I'm going to choose tokenization. Tokenization is what we use for CollectJS for tokenizing the card information. And checkout is what we use for Collect Checkout, which is another tool. So I create this. There we go. It's down here. And so all I need to do is copy this and I'm going to use that in my integration. So if we bounce back to my website, I'm going to go back to the cart and here it is like we saw before. And I want to convert this to CollectJS. So I'm looking at my web page again in just in the code this is a very basic site. Obviously a real site is going to be more complicated than this, but hopefully this gives you a good idea as to what we're going for. The first thing I need to do is paste in the CollectJS code. So I have it pre-written here, and this is the entire code that I'm going to use for CollectJS. And basically what this is doing is it's loading the CollectJS file. My tokenization key goes here. So I'm going to paste it in. There we go. And that's authenticating me to use CollectJS. I'm going to choose the variant of inline. I'm going to add some placeholder text in the fields because my page had some placeholder text. I want to retain that. And then I'm adding this custom CSS. So I'm just modifying the borders a little bit, adding some padding, some height, and up upping the font a little bit. So all these together are going to make fields that look just like what I have. Uh, we have a feature called a style sniffer. The style sniffer tries to get close to what you have, but you may have to provide some custom CSS to make it look exactly like your website. There's also more advanced stuff for changing the styling based on the field being filled out correctly or incorrectly. Uh, there's, there's more you can do here, but this is just some basic stuff to replicate a simple website. So now that I've loaded all of this information, I can go down to the form and I need to tell CollectJS where to draw the credit card number, the expiration, and the CVV fields. So I'm going to go down to my form. And so here I have my card number, expiration date, and CVV. And so basically these inputs are what I want to replace. So I'm just going to take this entire input and I'm going to replace it with a div called with ID of CC number, right? And that's it. I'm not going to add anything else there. And I can go ahead down here. This is going to be a div of ID CC exp for CC credit card expiration date. And I can go down here and do a div of ID CVV, and that's where the CVV is going to go. And so what CollectJS is going to do is it's going to look for these IDs, and it's going to draw in iframes with input fields that the customer can fill out that'll look like yours and have the styling that we added up there in the header to make them look exactly like you hope they will. And so they will spit out a invisible field. So once the customer finishes filling these out and they submit the form, it's going to add an invisible input called payment token that'll be posted along with everything else via the form. So there's one more thing I have to do here. 
Collect.js needs to know when to give you the payment token in full. And so it does that by uh, typically using a button that you click on. So this input here, the submit button, I'm gonna add an ID of pay button here. And so that's going to tell Collect.js that when the user clicks this, that's when I should validate all these fields are correct and make sure that they're there and then submit the form with the payment token. And so when I do that, it's gonna just happen, it's gonna go along and I'm gonna see the transaction process like normal. If I don't wanna use this ID, I can customize it. Collect.js has a field where I can say, I can make the ID anything I want, so I don't have to use this. If I'd like to use different styling or whatever, I can do that. The one last thing we need to do to make sure this works is I need to go to my receipt page, which again is very basic, <laughs> but you can see what I'm doing here. I'm basically posting to the direct post API using a security key, and then here's all the variables. I'm doing a sale for 9.99, I'm passing along the form data, and then there's these credit card number, credit card expiration, and CVV. And so these are what I don't need anymore. So I'm just gonna get rid of these, and then I'm going to say payment token is payment token. And I'm gonna get this value. I'm gonna, I don't need these anymore, so I'm gonna delete these. So the payment token variable is gonna be from the post, Collect.js is going to pass along a payment token value. So that's it. So all I'm passing to the gateway are my security key, the transaction details, the customer's information, and the payment token. And then it's gonna post and everything should work smoothly. Now I'm doing a transaction here, but I could do this with adding a subscription. I could do it with adding to the vault. Basically anything that you can use the direct post to do with a credit card number or a check account number, you can do that with Collect.js. So we're back on the same page that we were on before, and I'm gonna reload the page and you can see the difference. There we go, basically nothing, right? So <laughs> that is the whole point, is that these fields are still on my site, they're hosted by me and everything, but this credit card number field, expiration date, and CVV, these are all hosted by the gateway. You're not seeing exactly what's in them, you just get a token out the back. So we're gonna do a new transaction, we'll do a uh, and so now I just enter my card information. You can see we do some formatting in the field to make sure everything looks nice. There we go. And so now I filled out all the fields and just like before I hit submit payment, it's gonna submit, it's processing, and there we go. So it pulled that in. If I switch over to my gateway account and go back to the homepage, I should see my last transaction was this person. So it total, it completely worked. It worked like normal. If I go to the details for this, I should see everything that we expected. So that's the card number enter, the expiration date, and there's all their customer information and the information uh, about where it was processed from. The direct post is still what it shows as, but I used a payment token and I never touched that card information. So that's a quick integration to Collect.js. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions regarding our gateway, please contact us at 1-800-771-3719 or email us at service at metropaytech.com. Also, be sure to check out our website, www.metropaytech.com to see all the other products and services we offer, including our new Fee Buster program, which offers you zero processing fees.